11 o'clock tomorrow. Missouri takes on Kentucky. All the action can be heard here on the Big 550 KTRS. And the man who will be bringing you the call, our good friend Howard Richards. Howard, good morning. Thanks for checking in. Hey, good morning, guys. How are you today? Tigers need a victory after three tough losses, and especially losing last week to Middle Tennessee during homecoming. Your Tigers need a win bad. Boy, no doubt about it. I, I thought going into last week's game that um, you know, a win was desperately needed, which it was. But I, it, it feels as though after Saturday's loss to Middle Tennessee, stayed that um, you know this team has sort of hit the bottom. And, and it's been said that uh, you know in order to rise back to the top, you've got to hit bottom. And hopefully for Missouri, um, you know last Saturday uh, was bottom. Yeah, so they had a couple of injuries on the defense, and I guess some of those guys are now lost for the season? Yes, it, uh, it certainly appears that way. Um, Michael Shear, who was the, uh, the emotional leader, uh, the middle linebacker on defense, uh, and also Terry Beckner Jr., um, both out with uh, ACL and MCL tears, uh, which ultimately ends their seasons, and for, for Shear. Uh, it ends his his senior campaign, so he he will never dress in a Tigers uniform, which is you know it's very sad. You always want to finish your season, senior season strong and uh, uneventful, but um, for him uh, that won't be the case. Yeah, year. last week Missouri's offense wasn't the problem; they were scoring in droves. Um, a couple of metal mistakes, a couple of bad uh, mistakes, but the defense, which was supposed to be their strong suit coming in, um, really was nowhere to be found last week. Uh, big plays, giving up big plays and missed tackling, which has plagued them all year long. Of course, that uh, uh, it, it's just they seem to not be able to get in sync, especially coming off a a much better defensive performance the week before against uh, Florida. Um, but it's just one of those things. I think for a team to elevate itself, it's play. I think we've talked about this before. Uh, as an individual. Um, as a player, you've got to be able to block out distractions, um, you know, for a few hours on Saturday at a block out school, everything else, any other issues, family, friends, uh, and, and just really devote yourself to selling out and playing as hard as you can. Uh, and it seems to be a, a lack of focus um, uh, from an individual player. I mean, tackling is you've got to have a will, you've got a mindset to, to say, I'm going to be the person that makes the tackle. Because if I don't make that tackle, uh, this ball carrier, this receiver will either make a big play or possibly score a touchdown. Yeah. So if you have that mindset, um, then I, I think you your ability to get it done, you visualize it, your ability to get it done and make the play uh, stops right there. Kentucky comes in 3-3, three and three, no longer the doormat of the SEC. Now with uh, Mark Stoops running the program over there, it's a Stoops brother, so you got to assume it's well-coached and at least they'll put a good product on the field. No doubt. Uh, in fact, to Mark Stoops um, was sort of in a similar situation earlier this year. The first uh, three games, they were struggling defensively, giving up 43 points or so, and uh, Mark Stoops, uh, several weeks back, decided to take over the defensive play calling. And since then, I mean, they've probably cut their uh, the amount of points that they give up per game in half. So they're playing, playing better. They're running the football better. Um, and, they're, hey, they're in second place right now in the SEC East. So uh, Kentucky has made a statement that they, they want to be a team that uh, people recognize as, as a team on the rise. And, uh, they would love to be with a win on Saturday against Missouri. Kentucky will be one game away from becoming bowl eligible for the first time in, you know, since 2010. So they're playing for a lot. They've got some momentum, and um, you know it's going to be a tough effort for our Tigers. Uh, there is a measure of revenge, if you will. They lost to Kentucky last year down there, and um, if if they want to, you know, save their season at all, it's got to start. Uh, tomorrow. Yeah. All right. That is uh, Howard Richards on the call. 11 o'clock kickoff. All the action can be heard right here on the Big 550 KTRS and then the sports guys tonight at the Rally House out in uh, St. Charles. Howard, have a good call. Thanks for checking in and we'll talk to you next week about it. Thanks and hopefully next week we'll be talking about something positive. <laughs> <laughs> there, you, there you go. Thank you, Howard. Uh, 756 here. Big 550